Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? I wanted to do this video to really get your opinion um, about what you think about some of the street sector channels, because there's quite a few of them. And I read this um, quote. Now, I can't be sure if Jim Carrey actually said it, but... According to this quote, Jim Carrey said, Imagine struggling with being homeless and someone comes with a camera in your face to give you a meal and you have to take it. And so he's asking, you know, for all of us to think about how that would make us feel. You're in this vulnerable situation in your life you need money, you're homeless for whatever those reasons are. And someone says, tell me your story. Tell me why you're out here. Why are you homeless? And I'll give you money. So on my channel, I've been doing reviews on the channel Real Right and Uncut, which at this point, I'm okay with the channel. I get it. You know, he's doing interviews with people who are for the most part, they are homeless due to their drug addiction. And so as a result of that, yes, they will take money in order to give these interviews and call um, Ghost, that's Ghost, and ask him, come come talk to me. Come, I, I want to tell you something. Because they feed in to get money. And so the question is, are you enabling their addiction um, although he's given them advice to, you know, get help, is that really just feeding the problem? And would these people tell their business like that if they weren't already homeless? And then you already know I did plenty of videos on Marcus, the Atlanta Street interviews. I have no respect for Marcus because of his sexual inappropriateness, his sexual questions toward the interviewees if you know my channel you already know I made plenty of videos about that but also the question is still how do you think those people feel in needing this money for due to homelessness drug addiction and having these cameras in their face and and, and in the case of Marcus asking them the most intimate details about their life and also some of the things that have caused them trauma in their life and asking those inappropriate questions that I made plenty of videos on really asking him to stop. Um, you're leaving people re-traumatized. There are many reasons why people are homeless. Um, I've done interviews on all of these people based on the interviews that they've done on those channels. And so even as a reactor, am I furthering the exploitation of these people by having commentary about them when initially they came onto the Internet to get paid because they're in the in very bad um, situations? When you look at some of these people, you know, that I'm showing now on 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 the screen they all have a story they have a story to tell they were not born adults with addiction and homelessness and so what was life like for them um, as children what got them to the point where they are today i think that is an important message to tell and talk about so when those channels ask questions about you know what was your childhood like what led to this it's important, I think, for parents to understand the impact they have on their children and what that can look like for them, even as adults. And so is it exploitation? You comment down below. Tell me what you think. If these were your family members, how would you feel if they were exposing things just because they needed the money and they were in positions where they would do almost anything in order to just survive so comment down below and let me know what you think thanks guys